So we have a diagram question, right? Any question that provides some visual input is a diagram question. So let's pay attention to what we have here. So my first goal is to just label things, right? So if this is eight, that means this is eight, that means this is three. And I could figure out what this GH is here, but let's just see if that's important before I spend my time doing that. So quantity A says the area of rectangular region RSTU. Well, how do we find the area of a rectangle? It's just length times width. You could also call it base times height, which means quantity A is 8 times 3, which is 24. Quantity B, the area of trapezoidal region. Well, how do we find the area of a trapezoid? So the area of a trapezoid is equal to... In fact, let's just do it in a tricky way. So let's say you don't know the formula for the area of a trapezoid. I'm going to show you how to find it by remembering areas of simpler shapes. So if I draw a line straight down here, what I'm basically doing is making this into like region 1, and this is like my region 2, which means I have a rectangle here to the left that would have an area that is 5, because right, this is 5, all this that says 7, that makes this part 5 and this remaining part over here 2 to give us that total of 7. Right, So my base would be 5, my height would be 4. So for region 1, I'd have an area of 5 times 4, which is 20. Now region 2, let's just erase so we can see it clearly, region 2 is this triangle. What do I know about the triangle? Well, I know that the base is 2, the height is 4, the area for a triangle is one-half base times height. So it would be one-half, four times two, which is eight. And one-half of eight equals four. And then all together, right, combining those two regions together, my area is 24. So we can see quantity A is 24, quantity B is also 24. And therefore, they are both equal to each other. And therefore, the third option is correct here.